So this will be part four of our complete application in ASP.NET with C Sharp, uh, with zero coding or with very little coding. And today we are going to be creating the SQLite database connection. We're also going to be installing Entity Framework. Entity Framework is an URM mapping that helps you generate database objects from C Sharp classes. We're also going to be generating tables using migrations. So let's dive right in. And if you are joining for the first time, like I used to say, please subscribe to my channel uh, because this kind of motivates me a lot. And if you want to go further, please do buy me a coffee. You can see the link right there in the description of this video. Let's now see. So what is SQLite? SQLite is a lightweight uh, SQL server database um, uh, system that can bundle with your application. So you don't have to install management to do all this other very big uh, normal SQL server. So you have to just install SQLite. I'm going to show you how to do it. And in step one, we actually installed SQLite. So let's see where we are. And in, in this, in the part before this one, we created our domain models and there are eight of them. I, I told you to take some time to go through it. I hope you did. And right now, let's set up SQLite. So I'm going to close up everything. I'm going to close all tabs. So if I go to uh, SQL Server Explorer, now SQL Server Explorer can be gotten from view, other windows, and you go to Server Explorer. So it should be somewhere here. Um, it's a data source, Server Explorer. Um, or you can see view Server Explorer right here. And this is what is open right here in the left side. Now, from Server Explorer, you can go to this blue icon here and it opens the SQLite uh, connection. Now, I'm going to remove the connection I created before now so that you can see exactly what you have. So, if you are opening for the first time, this is what you are going to see. There is no connection for now. So, now let's follow this step by step. So, I'm going to kind of uh, I restore this and also restore this as well so I can see the both side by side. So the first step says go to the Server Explorer and go to the SQLite um, uh, uh, toolbox, which is where we are currently. Click on the SQLite SQL Server Compact Toolbox to open, to open and then click on SQLite Connection. So I can click on this icon right here and it asks me, uh, it creates, opens a dialog box for an SQLite connection. All right, so it says the create new SQLite connection window is opened, as you can see. So you can now define new SQLite connection. Navigate to the data folder you created earlier and give a name to your database. I call it hospital DB. So, so now this is where we are. I'm going to simply click on browse. Uh, let me give me one second. Let's come here. It says, um, says, click on create, not browse. Sorry. So I'm going to close. So click on create, and I'm going to come here. But we've missed out one step. I think we need to create a data folder. So yeah, first create a folder named data. So let's get back to here. So I'm going to close everything. So the first step says create a folder named data. So I'm going to um, collapse this and I'm going to right click and say add. I'm adding a new folder here. And I'm going to call it data. All right. So I'm going to go back to the SQLite connection. Click on this connect, uh, this icon right here, and click on create. And I'm going to navigate to the data folder right here. And I'm going to give a name to the SQLite database I'm going to be creating right now. I'm going to call it hospital hospital DB and say save. All right, so let's go back to check the steps. Uh, yeah, so, okay, that is fine. 
All right, provide a name, that's fine. Okay, so this is where we are. I'm going to simply click on test connection and it says test succeeded and I'm going to close. So at this point, we have a new SQLite database connection. If you open the data folder, you can now see the hospital DB, okay? All right, so the next step says install entity framework. So let's do it and then we wrap up this, uh, this particular part. Entity Framework is an ORM mapping. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping to help you generate database objects from your uh, C Sharp classes. So I'm going to go to View. I'm going to open. I'm going to go to View. I'm going to Other Windows and Package Manager. So let's give me one second. Uh, I'm going to View, Other Windows. I'm going to package manager. So I see package manager console, but I don't see package manager here. So what I'm going to simply do, uh, package manager. So let's see. So I have view, other window, uh, package manager console. So I'm trying to just make sure is I follow the steps. All right, so this is where we are. This is where we are. And now I'm going to install uh, Package Manager version 3.1.16. Uh, uh, package Manager version 3.1.16. So I'm going to copy. I copy the code uh, and paste it right here. So version 3.1.16, but at this point, I'm going to check if this is actually the latest version. So let me go to my website and I'm going to move a bit further uh, to another part. So let me just go to another part because if we install the wrong version, uh, we are going to be having uh, challenges. Okay, so... Um, All right. So it's actually the, the, the recent version as of the time of this video, July, uh, June 2021, is 5.0.7. So that is the version we are going to be installing, version 5.0.7. So make no mistake about it, in my website is specified, um, let's give it a second. 3.1.6, but in actual science, you're going to be installing 5.0.7. So let's come here and change it to 5.0.7. Okay, so take note of this change. I'm going to hit enter, and that will install. I'm going to install Entity Framework Tools as well. So let me copy, and then I'm going to... Uh, so it's installing 3.1.16 and that doesn't work. So how do I remove the one I installed and install the right one? So I'm going to come here, dependencies, entity framework, oh, packages. And finally, we are going to be installing Entity Framework, uh, Entity Framework Call of SQLite, also the same version 5.0.7. So let me copy and paste. I'm going to copy from here, and then I'm going to paste, paste, and then I'm going to change to 5.0.7. 
So these are the three things you need to install and at this point we've set up everything we need. So if you go to packages, now packages is under dependencies here, packages and you can see we have three items we've installed. And let me see, okay, so we now need to create the data context. But for now I'm going to stop here and then we start the nice part with creating a data context.